I'm Esther French with Global Medical News Network, reporting from the Washington Convention Center in D.C. at the annual meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. A panel of experts said that early research in deep brain stimulation for treatment of psychiatric disorders like depression and OCD has shown promise, but with a note of caution. My uh, strong advice would be that psychiatrists first need to think about whether they've really exhausted all conventional treatments. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, treatments one could potentially use, including one thing that is often neglected, which is residential behavior therapy. But for someone who's been through exhaustive treatments, and it usually takes five years to go through treatments to that degree, high dose a antidepressants, expert behavior therapy, combinations of medicines, then it is worth considering. Uh, as a potential option. Making this decision with the patient involves an interdisciplinary team. Deep brain stimulation surgery, it's, it's not like taking a gallbladder out, you know, you, you, it's, it's a complicated um, schema where you really have to talk with the patients before, screen the patients adequately, make sure that you've selected the right patients, that you're operating on the right symptoms, and then once you've screened the patients, optimized the medications, and you think maybe this is a person that might be good for a surgery, and we do it for various disorders, then you really need to introduce the village concept. So there's an education piece, they need to see a neurologist, a neurosurgeon, or neuropsychologist, a psychiatrist, and in certain cases, physical therapists, occupational therapists, financial counselors. Deep brain stimulation has been successful in treating movement disorders, and experts hope for the same success with psychiatric disorders. The preliminary trials are actually quite promising. Uh, even though the numbers are small, uh, the, the effects are clearly measurable and seem to be persistent. Uh, what we don't know is the long, long term. This has been Esther French reporting for Global Medical News Network.